Hi everyone. So here's a question for indie filmmakers out there. What type of film would you make if you had a budget of, let's say, $120 million? Now the reason that I've been uh, thinking about this is because of an article I had read recently that was getting some attention about uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Now Francis Ford Coppola was, I believe, developing a new film that he's uh, self-financing, he's self-funding spending his own money, uh, $120 million of his own money, uh, to make this film. I believe that was the figure that was cited in the article, $120 million. And uh, I can understand why this is getting, you know, getting some attention. I mean, here you've got a major filmmaker like Coppola, and uh, it's kind of taking this unusual step of self-financing a film, which, uh, you know, we don't see a lot. Although Coppola has done that, I believe, at least a couple times in the past, so it's not entirely unprecedented for him. but. He's spending his own money, a considerable sum, uh, in order to make the film the way that he wants to make it. And, you know, I can see, like I said, why this story is getting some attention. But then I was thinking, you know, really when you get down to it, uh, this is what, you know, DIY, low-budget indie filmmakers uh, deal with, you know, every day. Uh, basically, in making films. It's really just a matter of degrees in terms of how much money we're talking about or how many, you know, how much uh, resources that we have to put into our projects. But really, what Coppola is doing is no different in a lot of ways than uh, what a lot of us are doing here, you know, making our films and putting them out on YouTube or, you know, making them with whatever we have. Um, and so I was, I was thinking about that because that is, that is something that as I've said before, you know, many times before, the thing that I really love about ultra low budget DIY filmmaking is that it lends itself to personal expression because we are putting our own money uh, into these projects. Now, whether you have $120 million to spend like Coppola does, or whether you have $120 to spend uh, or, or whatever, um, you know, at the end of the day, you're putting your own money, uh, standing behind your, your vision, standing behind what you want to say, and putting your own uh, resources into it. But then, I, you know, I, I was thinking about this uh, other, other side of this question, was which, which is, uh, what would I even do if somehow I found myself with a budget of, say, $120 million, like Coppola is working with? You know, how would you even really begin to... Um, you know, it, like, it's hard for me to conceptualize spending that much money on a film. Uh, I won't say that there aren't, I guess, you know, certain dream projects or ideas that I, I can't imagine. But again, it's, I'm so used to working with a very limited budget that it's almost, um, you know, it's almost hard for me to even conceptualize what I would do with $120 million. Because I'm, I, I think that uh, one of the things as indie filmmakers... Uh, that you know we have to do is to really um, train ourselves. We have to really it, it's a it's a form of uh, practice and experience. It comes from experience of making films and uh, you know getting getting good at being able to recognize what we can do and more importantly how we can do it uh, with the resources that we have, the budget that we have, and not allow that to become a uh, you know an obstacle or or worse an excuse not to do anything. So. Uh, one of the, you know, one of the trade-offs of that might be, and, and maybe this is just me, maybe, maybe uh, you know, maybe you disagree with this, uh, some of you might disagree with this, but I personally have a hard time uh, kind of thinking about what I would do with uh, a budget of, uh, of that size. And, you know, it's, I guess like I said before, it's really all relative in a lot of ways, relative to what, what we're used to working with. Um, uh, you know, and I think that for a director like Francis Ford Coppola, who's obviously worked with you know some very large, uh, large scale, big budget Hollywood films, uh, you know this is a this this would be kind of a, a change of uh, pace from that. Obviously, you know, doing a self financed independent film, but uh, you know, 120 million dollars still sounds like a lot to me. So. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just one of those things where I guess is, I guess this is all relative is what I'm saying, but it is kind of interesting to think about, um, you know, how you would even get around to putting that kind of money onto the screen if you if you had it. But uh, at the same time, I don't think that there's much point in, um, 
you know, spending too much time thinking about what you would do with resources that you just don't have. Uh, that's that's not really that's not why I'm putting this out there. It's more just as a kind of a, a, a an illustration of how as we become more accustomed to uh, and and more experienced in working with what we've got and how to adjust ideas and our you know our ideas our creative ideas and find ways of getting those on the screen. Uh, the issue of budget ultimately becomes less important, I think, because what what I think is most interesting about really low budget filmmaking and uh, DIY film is, like I said, it's the the opportunity for personal expression, and it's uh, the opportunity to see how different people find those creative ways of getting the ideas up on the screen. Um, just to give an example, I. I recently had a chance to take a kind of an early look at this uh, new film by Cody Clark called No Shark, which takes this really uh, unique premise and really commits to it and, you know, really sells the idea uh, of, of, you know, a shark movie without a shark. And I think doing something like that, it's, uh, you know, there's a certain, it, you know, it, it's a creatively bold kind of uh, an idea. And I think a big part of that does come from looking at how you can put these ideas on the screen with what you've got. You know, that's what it really all comes back to. But, uh, you know, so it, anyway, these were just a few thoughts I had after reading that article about this, uh, this, this new uh, project that Francis Ford Coppola is developing. And, you know, like I said, I think what it comes down to is that things like budget and resources are ultimately a matter of degrees. Um, at the end of the day, I think whether we're talking about Francis Ford Coppola making this film, you know, with, with $120 million, or whether we're talking about somebody with $120, it comes down to putting your vision on the screen, uh, doing it a way, in a way that you can, and doing it in a way that is unique to you, in a way that nobody else might think about. And I think that is really what it's all about. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you soon.